Yo, what up guys? I'm Sammy and welcome back to the Soul Brothers channel. And in this video, we're going to be talking about what's in my bag, my gym bag. And of course, like when I'm testing shoes and uh, there's a shoe that I don't like too much or it's still a, it can still be a good performer. But like when I'm done testing it for that day, when I want to play in something that I really, really like, these are my backup shoes. These are shoes that are pretty much in my bag almost all the time. And it changes a lot. There's actually a lot of good performers out right now which surprised me you know every everything pretty much that i've been testing has been really really nice but these are the shoes that i have been playing for the past couple of weeks very very consistently and like i said they're pretty much always in my bag right i'm pointing here's my bag right this is my gym bag so <laughs> anyways so let's get it started off i got four shoes and if you guys want to get any of these shoes i'll try to leave a link in the description box but let's get it started off with a very very surprising shoe actually right so of course it is the 361 degrees Aaron Gordon Zen 3. And the 361 degree, like the company, uh, they make some pretty good shoes. I mean, the Aaron Gordon one, his signature shoe was a solid shoe, but it just wasn't my favorite because, you know, there's a lot going on. It's like, it's a little bulky feeling. It's a little heavy as well. It's still a solid performer, right? But the Zen 3, I'm actually still testing it. But when I bring this shoe, it's pretty much, I'm just bringing this shoe. Like, I don't really need to like take any backups because I really enjoy playing in this shoe. The traction is phenomenal. It has a really nice solid bite, a nice loud squeak as well. Picks up very minimal dust. The cushion is also really, really comfortable, right? Not the best court feel, but with this quick foam light, it's soft, but it's not too soft, you know, like in the Lou Williams underground or whatever, the, the peak shoe. That, that was a, it was a very comfortable cushion, but it was a little too soft and a little too laggy feeling for me personally. But this feels really nice, right? It has a good blend of responsiveness, but also it's soft and it has a lot of compression. Also, it's a little bouncy as well. So I absolutely love the cushioning setup. The materials feel extremely good as well. It's this like textile material, basically a knit material. There's no pinching. You don't need to break it in at all. It's very comfortable on foot. And uh, also, I absolutely love these Achilles pillows. These Achilles pillows feel really, really nice. And the price is really good. It's like 105 bucks, I believe. And uh, the shoe looks great. You know, I, I'm actually getting a good amount of compliments on how good this shoe looks for my friends. So yeah, 100% check this shoe out. This is a really, really good shoe. And it's gonna be in a lot of lists. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you that right now. I really like playing the shoe. All right, next. I love this shoe so damn much that I got a second colorway, right? So this is the WOW All City 9 by Li Ning. And it's like 160 bucks on Famuji. And this shoe is phenomenal. I really, really like this shoe. I guess this colorway isn't my favorite, but it's still a great looking shoe. The traction is top tier. It picks up a little bit of dust, but if you wipe, you're good to go. Cushion is also super nice. You got a good amount of compression here in the heel. You got a nice little bounce from the boom pod here in the forefoot. Impact protection is great, but you still feel low to the ground. I love this Eclipse plate. I know it's not, you know, Eclipse plate is that's Jordan brand, but you know, I'm gonna just call it Eclipse Play, you know? And then the material is really nice, you know? Uh, the quality is good. It's extremely thin. It feels minimal on foot. But one thing that I really like, like they just blend everything well together is that the tongue has a lot of padding. So that feels really comfortable and cozy as well as here in the ankle area, there's a good amount of padding. But here in the toe box and here in the midfoot, it's extremely minimal. So uh, it just feels cozy and very comfortable, but also minimal on foot, you know? I would suggest that you guys get this shoe. This shoe is extremely, extremely nice. All right, next we got, of course, the Nike KD14. I mean, this shoe is just so damn nice. I still can't get over how like, I don't like the aesthetics all too much. I mean, it's growing on me a little bit. Like the lateral side looks pretty dope, but look at the medial side, man. Like this, what is this? <laughs> you know what I mean? But anyways, who cares about aesthetics if the performance is off the charts, right? So the traction, again, phenomenal traction, top tier traction. You're not really going to find anything better than this traction pattern. Very minimal dust pickup as well. The cushion is probably my favorite. I mean, all of these shoes have really nice cushioning setups, but the KD14 is my favorite. Impact protection is really, really good, but you still get a good amount of compression here in the heel. You get that full length zoom strobe unit right underneath your foot, so it's very bouncy. It's just like, it just does everything really, really well. You know, like court feel is really good. I would say the court feel is the best, 
out of uh, out of all these and then the kd14 has the best core feel materials probably not the best quality for the price but it gets the job done it's extremely thin the ankle area and the tongue have an average amount of padding and support and all that i didn't really have any issues so the kd14 is pretty much always in my bag and last but not least it's the Kyrie low 4 I actually like playing in the shoe. If I don't want anything, like sometimes I don't want like a nice cushioning setup. I don't know why. Maybe it's because, I don't know, like I, I like to feel fast and I like to feel really quick on my feet. And if you have a little bit of compression, like from the foam or something like that, you feel just a tiny bit slower, just a tiny bit. I'm not saying it's terrible or anything in these shoes. It's just like, it, it, if something's a little bit, or actually are like very, very stiff, in the foam like the Kyrie low 4 i just feel like extremely quick you know the traction is also phenomenal like all these all these shoes have phenomenal traction patterns like top tier right and uh the cushion like i said i mean it sucks but i like it for something responsive and i'm playing at an indoor gym now so impact protection isn't like a huge deal as it was when i was playing on outdoor court right and then uh, the material is extremely thin. It feels very minimal. I had no issues with support or anything. There is a little bit of heel slippage, which does kind of suck, but I don't mind it all too much. Everything else about this shoe is just so damn good. And the little minor inconvenience that I get from the heel slippage, because it's not that bad, it doesn't really bother me all too much, right? So the Kyrie Low 4, if I want something very responsive and I want to feel very quick, then that's, that's the shoe that I pick for that day. But yeah, these four shoes have been in my rotation a lot, you know, uh, it just depends on the day and it just depends on my mood, I guess, on which shoe I want to bring. Sometimes I bring two shoes, sometimes I bring one, uh, but for the most part, uh, all four of these shoes have been in my bag for the past couple of weeks. But anyways, uh, again, if you guys do want to cop any of these shoes, I try to leave a link in the description box. Of course, there are other really good performers. It's just, I don't, I don't know, like, you know, the Curry 8, the Curry 8's freaking awesome the puma clyde all pro is awesome and like the gt cut and stuff like that awesome shoes well i don't know why i just haven't been playing in those shoes as much um but don't get me wrong they're still really good performers so anyways again if you guys want to copy any of these shoes i try to leave a link in the description box and also tell us what's in your guys's bag down in the comment section below but that's it thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one